Hello friends, welcome to Insights Icon Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about key highlights of COP28. You know that COP stands for Conference of Parties. Before we go further regarding this concept, first let me introduce you what are the components of this video. In this video, we are going to discuss about highlights of COP28 and India-led initiatives at COP28. There are two prominent initiatives from India. Then the syllabus mapping. This particular topic is related to Gender Studies Paper 3 Environment. In this sub area, Conservation, Environmental Pollution and Degradation Environment Impact Assessment. This is the syllabus mapping. Now why we are discussing this particular topic today? Because recently COP 28th conference, it was concluded in Dubai UAE okay? under, the, under the framework of UNFCCC, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Here you have to understand. UNF C, UNF C, UNF C. It was came into existence. It was came into existence in Earth Summit. Earth Summit. It was also known as Rio Earth Summit in 1992. This was came into existence in 1994. And to discuss about this particular UNF C, every year we are having COP conference. COP conference. The first COP conference. It was held in Germany. Okay, from there onwards, regularly on regular basis, we are having the COP conferences where we will discuss about environmental issues and climate change, what kind of actions we have to take, and the cooperation required between the developed nations and underdeveloped nations, technological innovation we required, and regular targets. Everything we will discuss in COP meetings. The recent past COP meetings, okay. COP21 was a very prominent COP meeting. In this meeting, Paris Climate Agreement was made. Paris Climate Agreement. Paris Climate Agreement was made. If you remember, in the same agreement, in the same COP21, India, India, you know, like uh, forwarded the idea of International Solar Alliance. So tell me, students, along with India, which country involved in the creation of International Solar Alliance in COP21? Okay. Now, apart from this. What are the other important meetings? COP26. COP26, it was held in the, you know, like Scotland. It was held in Scotland. Scotland, Glasgow. Glasgow. In this meeting, India came with our own climate targets in the form of the Panchamrit. India came up with our own targets. Panchamrit. Panchamrit. In this COP26, India declared that by 2070, India would like to achieve the net carbon zero. Then COP27, it was held in last year, Shermel Sheikh. Shermel Sheikh last year in Egypt. Here the, for the first time, up to this COP meetings, all the countries, they, they were discussing about prevention of climate change. But what about the damage already causing? What about the damage from the climate action? For the first time in this climate summit, countries discussed about the loss and damage. That is the reason loss and damage fund was formulated in this one. And now it is materialized in the COP28. Now we are discussing about the COP28 summit. COP28 summit which held recently in Dubai, UAE. So this is the short journey about the COP meetings. COP meetings always conducted under the guidelines of UNFCCC. In this video, we will also come across few couple of words. Okay, one is global stock take. Global stock take. What is this global stock take? Global stock take is the assessment mechanism which assess our progress towards the climate change or climate action. Okay, it will check the various countries' performance in terms of the funding or in terms of the commitment in their targets. This is the global stock take. Okay, so this is the idea you must have. Now we will see what are the COP28 COP28 highlights. What are the outcomes of the COP28? Now COP28 meeting held in so UAE, Dubai. Present condition, global stock take. That means the assessment of the progress so far. This report is saying that there are very difficult times come ahead. Okay. So if you go on this pace, it is very difficult to achieve whatever the targets we set in COP21. Okay, Reaching the peak highest amount of the carbon emission is supposed to be 
2026. That means after 2026, carbon emissions across the globe, it must be reduced. But that is not going to be possible in the near future. So, it is giving very grim picture about the climate change. So, now the countries at least from now onwards, they have to move in a synchronized manner towards stopping this climate change. UNFCCC. UNFCCC stands for United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Signed in 1992. Came into force in 1994. It was signed at the Earth Summit, Rio, also known as Rio Summit. Universal Membership, 197 countries. It is the parent treaty of 2050 Paris Climate Agreement. Okay. And the Secretariat located in Bonn, Germany. This is about UNFCCC. Then global stock take. It was mentioned in Article 14, Clause 1 of the Paris Climate Agreement. This report is designed to take stock of how the Paris Agreement is implementing and assess what kind of collective progress we achieved towards the Paris Climate Agreement goals. So this is the assessment tool. It will check how far we are progressing towards the Paris Climate Agreement goals. That is about the global stock take report. In this channel itself, I explained about the global stock take report as well as the global solar stock take report as well. That is about the assessment of the solar energy achievements. Now let's see, these are some of the important highlights in this COP28 and these two are the India's initiative at COP28. Now uh, let me uh, let me uh, help you throughout in this particular important highlights. The first one is the loss and damage fund. This fund was the first time proposed in COP27 but now in COP28 this they, agree, they reached to an agreement to implement the loss and damage fund. Okay. Now, who is going to administrate this loss and damage fund? Temporarily, World Bank is going to administrate for the next four years. And this loss and damage fund is aligned with the Paris Agreement as well as the UNFCCC. Any country can contribute voluntarily their money to this fund. And any country, if they experience any damage related to the environment, they can apply for this fund. Out of this entire fund, a certain percentage of the money will be completely dedicated for the least developed countries as well as the small island developing nations. Here you have to remember loss and damage fund is mainly for countries which experienced damage due to the climate action. Like recently Pakistan experienced floods damage due to climate change. Now the second one, framework on transitioning from fossil fuels. For the first time COP28, clearly for the first time this clearly acknowledging that we need to we need to address the sources of carbon emissions and we need to go away slowly from the fossil fuels that means we have to transition from fossil fuels towards other type of renewable energy what type of other fuels mentioned in this one they mentioned natural gas and nuclear energy and other sources also mentioned here they clearly mentioned that the phasing down of the fossil fuel, it is going to be very much high amount it should be for the developed countries and for the developing and underdeveloped countries, this phasing down can be slow because now they do not have any alternative technology. They need to only depend on the carbon emissions. That is the reason this clearly mentioned this particular statement that equitable, just and orderly manner we have to achieve the net carbon zero by 2050. Of course, the oil rich nations opposed this verbatim in spite of that it was been adapted that is about the framework on transitioning from fossil fuels this is the second one next third one credible target for renewable energy and energy efficiency this cop 28 clearly mentioning about tripling we have to triple the renewable energy capacity to 11000 gigawatts and we have to double the energy efficiency from 2 percentage to 4 percentage by 2030 so, if we increase the energy efficiency, that means we need to use less amount of the energy. And increasing the renewable energy means we will less consume the fossil fuel. That is the main idea. This particular aspect highlighted the, highlighted the contributions of India and recognized India as the forefront runner in this particular aspect. That means we are encouraging the renewable energy and we are improving this energy efficiency in various sectors of Indian economy. Next, fourth one, global goal on adoption. This is about creating a particular adoption fund okay, and 
we have the cooperation between the countries so that they can adapt towards the changing climate so now let's see the draft text on the global goal of adoption it was established under the paris agreement to enhance what to enhance or to increase the awareness of funding towards the countries for what for their adoption needs so this is going to be a part of adapting the country's economy towards achieving our goal to 1.5 or 2 degrees of the paris climate agreement this includes the country's adoption towards climate induced water scarcity re reduction they have to reduce the climate related water scarcity and climate resilient food and agriculture production need to be increased and strengthening the resilience against climate related health impact so in this way by concentrating on these these three areas we can adapt to the adapt to the changing climate change otherwise this is disease will spread and crop damage may occur and it may lead to water scarcity also so to prevent that this is very essential the fifth one global cooling pledge for cop 28 66 countries they signed on this commitment and they contributed to around 68 percentage and they they are clearly mentioning that they would like to reduce their contribution the contribution by 2050 compared to 2022 level by 2050 they would like to reduce the carbon emission related to cooling equipment by how much percentage by 68 percentage by 68 percentage the 66 countries they would like to reduce the carbon emissions related to cooling equipment such as for example from acs and uh, some other cooling equipments lot of carbon emissions are coming out they would like to reduce that sixth one declaration to triple nuclear energy the scop 28 is saying the it is aiming to triple the global nuclear energy capacity by 2050 it was endorsed by 22 governments and they called for they called for support from the international financial institution that means funding required for the setting up of nuclear energy plants that is also the issue even india is also concentrating on the nuclear energy mainly with usa we had an agreement of nuclear i mean civil nuclear agreement this was made way back in 2008 the upa1 government then global transition accelerator this particular institution win will help to other countries towards accelerating their economy from the fossil fuel to other other type of fuels okay coal transition accelerator which country is leading this france is leading and under this coal transition accelerator this provides knowledge policy decision design and financial support so that countries will slowly transit away from coal towards the clean energy this is the seventh one next eighth coalition for high ambition multi level partnership for climate action this is about encouraging the partnership among the nations and uh, they are mainly concentrating on few specific goals how many countries 65 countries they signed on champ commitment mainly to encourage cooperation wherever it is applicable such as in the planning financing and implementation and monitoring of climate strategies this is one of the core group this champ okay try to remember the full name of this initiative as well very helpful in your mcq point of view prelims then climate finance this cop 28 adopted that wealthy countries wealthy wealthy countries they now they should sign on this new collective quantifiable goal actually if you remember in cop 21 paris climate agreement all the countries agreed that the developed countries they will contribute 100 billion dollars every year as a part of green climate fund but that was not materialized now at least by keeping 2025 as a target year these countries developed countries they would like to they would like to contribute at least 500 billion by 2025 the target is 500 billion by 2025 who is saying this uncdad and this this 500 dollar i mean billion dollars out of that 100 billion dollars every year they are going to be contributed okay 100 billion dollars and out of this 500 billion dollars 250 billion dollars will be for mitigation 100 billion dollars for adaptation 150 billion dollars for loss and damage the same is expecting that by 2030 this fund should be raised to the 1.55 trillion dollars now we are in 2023 next 2024 2025 already they kept base as a 100 billion dollars 
from this 100 billion dollars they would like to reach to the 500 billion dollars by 2025 out of the 500 billion dollars they are going to spend that money on various aspects this is the breakdown of the funding now next india led initiatives at cop 28 so india also proposed an initiative they were also discussed in the cop 28 one is the global river cities alliance in recent past i mentioned that india's global river cities alliance we made an agreement with the mississippi river alliance as well so what is this idea this is idea is about the conservation of the urban river and sustainable use of the urban river okay so this idea even promoted the river conservation across the globe as well okay so it was launched at cop 28 by national mission for clean ganga under the ministry of jal shakti government of india it is a unique alliance it cover 275 global river cities in 11 countries it is about sustainable river centric development and this platform will facilitate knowledge exchange and river city twinning twinning means one city in one country and the another city in another country they'll exchange mous so that they can exchange the best practices what they are implementing in their respective nations green credit initiative india also launched this one especially on focused areas are water conservation and afforestation under this initiative will exchange innovative environmental program as well as the instrument under the green credit initiative these are the india led initiatives in cop 28 okay now so far we discussed about all the important cop 28 highlights as well as the india led initiatives at cop 28 now let's see yesterday's video question consider the following statement originally the commission had only one election commissioner but it was made multi body through 42nd amendment no it was through so it was during the rajiv gandhi government not the 42nd second one the chief election commissioner can be removed by the president of india no they cannot be removed by the president of india they can be removed by parliament okay now next next mc today's one what is rio plus 20 conference often mentioned in the news what is rio plus 20 conference pick the right one main question what are the implications of changing climate on various aspects of indian region that means what is the climate change impact on the india elaborate upon the key action taken by the india towards combating and adapting climate change what kind of actions taken by india to counter the climate change this is the main question now as we reach to the end of this video in this particular video we discussed about what is this unf triple c and the and the chronological history of cop 20 meetings and we discussed about global stock take and important highlights of the cop 28 and india led initiative at cop 28 this is a detailed analysis of the cop 28 summit thank you